I'm going to make the Chateau Chicken with the Almond Butter Sauce. There's a few extra steps in this one. In fact, there's seven steps, but they're really worth it and they're really easy, so just follow me. The first thing you do is pat the chicken dry. And the reason that's important is because what makes this dinner special is a little crispness to the chicken. So we're just going to lay these out on paper towel really quickly. Easy. I'm going to discard the juice. I like using tongs. I don't like using my fingers, but you can do what you want to do. I'm going to pat these chicken breasts so they get nice and dry. Before I work on this surface again, and of course before I touch anything else with my hands, I'm going to use an antibacterial soap and spray to clean this off. Chateau chicken with the almond butter sauce. First thing I'm going to do is toast these nuts. I'm taking a dry pan and over medium high, medium low heat, I'm going to toast these. I'm going to watch them really carefully. It should take just about two minutes. I'm going to stir them every 30 seconds. Maybe 10 seconds even. I don't want them to over toast. Under toasted is delicious, over toasted is burnt. So you feel free to take them off when you want to, but I take them off just when they're just starting to turn, right about now. I did this a little out of order. I patted the chicken breast dry first and forgot to heat up the oil in my pan, but no worries, they can sit there and dry out a little bit more. I'm going to put two tablespoons of olive oil in this pan and heat it up. And I'm going to do it over medium high heat so that we can get a nice crisp crust. Now I'm going to take my dried chicken breast and I'm going to toss it in the gallon size bag. And I have to seal it. I just want to toss it to coat. I'm going to take it out, kind of shake it off, and I'm going to put it into my hot oil. And I'm going to repeat this six times. Now I've got all my chicken breast in the pan and I'm cooking them just until golden brown. That chicken is so delicious it pumps when it cooks, so it's just really good. Oh, it's getting good and golden. Almost. I want to make sure we cook them thoroughly, so five to six minutes aside. My chicken's getting golden. I'm turning them all over. Really pretty. Listen to that sizzle. I always cook my chicken the thickest part to the middle of the pan. I put the ends on the outside because I think it's better that it doesn't cook as long and the center of my stove top is warmer than the outside. Okay, my chicken's done. I take it off the pan. I put it on my serving dish. That's good because we want all those brown bits in the bottom of the pan for the next step. I'm going to cover this with foil. Set it aside. Now I'm going to add the cooking wine. That's your clear bag of liquid. I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Woo! I'm going to take my spatula here and I'm just going to kind of scrape some of those brown bits. Oh, good. Just in time. Okay, I'm going to scrape some of those brown bits and I'm going to simmer this. Get ready for our next step. Got my chicken here keeping warm. I've got my wine sauce all simmered. So I'm going to turn my heat off. I already did. And I'm going to add the butter and the green onions. I'm going to simmer this until it melts and thickens. Then we're going to drizzle it over the chicken. Now I've added the butter and green onions to my saucepan. And I'm going to just turn the heat off. Or you could remove it from the heat. I'm going to just let this butter melt and it'll be ready to pour over our chicken. Okay, now we're going to finish our Chateau Chicken with the almond butter sauce. We've got the chicken all laid out. I'm going to simply drizzle this into my pan. Oh my gosh. It's company for me tonight. It looks so delicious. And I'm going to sprinkle them with my nice toasted almonds. Dinner's ready.